In this video, I'll show you a smarter way to force user registration in your WooCommerce store. Now you might want to do this because it's a well-known fact that under 80% of all customers that reaches the checkout page will abandon their cart, right? If we're able to force the user to register before they're able to check out, we've got a higher chance of capturing that prospect's email and in the event that maybe they got distracted during the checkout process, we can go ahead and follow up with them. So I'll show you a quick and seamless way in how you can actually implement this on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. So currently I'm on a popular tech store here in the UK. So this would be the equivalent to Best Buy for those watching in the States. Right and here I've got this particular headphones in my basket. Now when we go to continue to check out here it's actually forcing us to either log in or create a new account. So they're implementing a similar strategy to what I'm about to show you in this video, right? And it makes sense. Again, as I said, we've got a higher chance of capturing that prospect's email. And let's say, for example, I didn't actually um, complete this order, then they're able to follow up with me, maybe with a discount code to prompt me to complete that purchase, right? I'll show you a more seamless way in how you can actually do this on your checkout store. So let me show you what we'll do, and then I'll show you how we'll do it okay so here we are on our demo site and what we're going to do is let's say for example we've got a new customer purchasing on our website then all we need them to do is just go ahead and enter in their email address right so for example test.test.com and the checkout will automatically check to see if they've got an account on the system with us if they've got an account then there'll be a password field here so they can go ahead and actually log into their account if they don't have an account with us then once they click this agree to our terms and condition and then obviously in your terms and condition you'll basically state that by them agreeing to the terms and condition will automatically create an account on their behalf all right so this streams in the user experience massively and you'll definitely see a dramatic increase in your conversion rate so we'll agree to our terms and condition Okay, and here it's automatically created an account for us and it's sent the password to our email. If you wanted, you can set it so they can enter in the password here. But again, just to make this a frictionless experience for the customer, so they don't have to actually do any extra steps. So we're already doing this for them. So their account's been created. Now they can just click next, fill in their billing details, and then go ahead and purchase this particular product. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, well, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin by aovup. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the aovup checkout plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, we'll just navigate over to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. We're going to customize that flow in which I've just showed you, right? So next, we just need to create a new checkout flow. I'm just going to click create new checkout here so with this plugin we can actually create numerous different checkout flows so we can create a specific flow for registered users a different flow for logged out users and so much more right so i'm going to go ahead and choose this custom template here there is an update that we're working on that once you select this template here there'll be a option to edit the design then it will pop up and you'll be able to customize the design from here alternatively you can just create one from scratch using your favorite favorite page builder, whether that's Gutenberg, Divi or so on. Okay. But we keep it super simple for now. We actually recommend just using our custom template. I'm going to navigate over to the thank you page. So you can use your themes default layout, or you can use one of our custom layout or even create one from scratch. Let's go ahead and click on fields. This is where the magic will happen, right? So I'm going to create a multi-step checkout. So I'm just going to add a new step here. Let's navigate back over to step one. So I'm going to specify that I want this right sidebar area here to display on all steps. OK, because this will host our order summary information. So I'm going to create a new section. I'm going to drag this section over here to the left and this email field. So again, this is the default WooCommerce email field. This is important. So I'm going to add it on this new section here. I'm going to move our billing fields onto step two. I'm going to move the shipping fields onto step two as well. And we're going to move our shipping methods onto step two. So now for this new section, I'm going to rename it because now it just says new section. So I'm just going to say something like welcome, right? You can name it whatever you like. OK, and I'm going to add a new terms and condition fields, right? So just like in our example, we had that terms and condition field. 
So I'm just going to click this settings icon here. I'm going to select this checkbox and I'm just going to drag it onto this canvas here. Let's click settings on this checkbox. And then for the label, we'll say something like I agree to the terms and condition. And then ideally, you just want to link to your terms and conditions here. So your customer can actually go ahead and read the terms and condition. I'm going to set this field to required and then I'm going to X this off. Now I'm going to click on this email field. And here I'm going to enable this option where it says enable login slash registration. OK, and where it says login slash registration action, I'm going to go ahead and select this checkbox field here. It means that will only trigger the automatic account creation after the customers agreed to our terms and condition. If you just wanted to trigger it without them accepting the terms and condition, then you can just leave this here unchecked, right? Just to cover yourself, it makes sense that you just add it to your terms and condition. And this is pretty much it. So we can just navigate over to settings. We'll enable this checkout and we'll set it as our global checkout. So we can add a name just for internal purposes in the event that you've got multiple different checkouts. You know what each checkout flow is for, right? Everything else I'm just going to leave as default. Well, we'll make one more change. So here where it says custom checkout text, I'm going to change this to say complete order. And if we use this special short code here, then it will say complete order and then it will give them the total of their order, right? Just to make it very clear what they're purchasing and how much it will cost. We can enable other functions such as Google automatic address completion and so much more, right? But that's for a different video. We can enable conditional logic as well. But again, that's for a different video. So we'll just hit save changes for now. OK, and let's go ahead and test our checkout flow again. OK, and then here we've got the flow. So let's go ahead and actually enter in that test email that um, we actually entered in the intro. So let's go test at test.com and let's agree to the terms and condition. OK, so here you can see it's saying we've already got an account and then it's just prompting us to enter in our password. In the event that the customers forgot their password, they can just hit reset password here. Right. And then continue through with the checkout process. So. I personally haven't seen this flow on the internet. I'm a customer standpoint and an admin standpoint, it just makes more sense. So it removes all the friction in actually registering for an account. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.